What's going on everybody, this is your boy Red, host of the RH3 show and host of Life As I Know It, youtube.com forward slash I represent here, that's for the RH3 show and youtube.com forward slash inside Mr. RH3 for uh, Life As I Know It. Life As I Know It is uh, my vlogging channel, so if you are watching this from the RH3 show, go over to Life As I Know It and uh Click that subscribe link, or the link will be below in the information box to make it more easier. All right, but let me go ahead and get into this quick inside scoop with Red video. This is where I give you my honest, my unscripted opinion on today's world and entertainment news. You guys, uh, first thing, um, now I know Mary J. Blige and her husband Ken Duke Isaac has, uh, um. Mary has filed for divorce, um, I think it's due to irreconcilable differences, uh, after 13 years, I believe that's what it was, uh, I believe that's what the, um, reasoning for the divorce and for, um, and for, um, uh, you know, the, the amount of years that, uh, you know, they have, um, been married, but, um, yes, yeah, so, uh, Mary, y'all, Mary is a thug. You hear me? <laughs> um, a few years ago, I don't know how long, but uh, it was reported that she punched him in the face uh, for trying to flirt with somebody at a restaurant or at a club or whatever that they were attending. But um, yeah, Mary, Mary gonna continue to do her thing, y'all. Mary gonna continue to do her thing. So just don't even worry about Mary and what she got going on. Um, and what else do I have? I don't even have nothing on my phone, you guys. And I'm trying to hurry up because I've taken some pain medicine. And um, I'm uh, I'm almost at the wit's end of this pain. And, and it's easing off a little bit or whatever. But the reason for the pain, I had surgery on last week. Yeah, I think it was last week. But anyway, um, yeah, that's that. Um, I don't have any notes. But um, another thing, Keisha... Event Night Pulliam, I don't remember the night event, but Keisha Night Pulliam and um, uh, her husband, um, a former NFL and sorry husband, now let me stop, former NFL star uh, Ed Hartwell um, is calling it quits. Um, Y'all know the thing, and this is only because of what's, what has been heard on, um, um, on entertainment tonight and as well as they um and do his interview from I don't know but I'll put the link to both of them in the information box but um um uh um yeah they they Keisha I think it was week two weeks ago or something like that that they announced that they were uh, expecting a baby girl and um now it's a divorce. Keisha says, and this is all um, from what we read on and what we heard on Entertainment Tonight. But Keisha says that, um, you know, he left out and then he called her and was like, look, we need to talk. I don't think this is going to work. I filed for divorce this morning. I'm coming back home to get my stuff. And, um, you know, Ed, with his interview, and I think, you know, Keisha, with her... She, with her um, statement and her um, frustration or whatever, it was understandable, and she didn't downgrade his name or whatever. But you know, she was kind of hurting the home. Her hormones was raging and kicking and all of that. But um, you know, I don't think they really dirty any name. But Keisha was like that. Um, you know, she, um, she wasn't the one cheated, and it was him, and this, that, and the third, and and um, you know, they both went out the marriage and all of this, that, and the other. Uh, and I'll give y'all my opinion on that. But then Ed went back and, you know, he was really kind of cool and calm and collective about it. And was like, no, I'm not saying that she cheated. But I'm just saying that, uh, look, I want to know if this is my baby or not. And, 
Y'all, I'm not going to say too much, but a YouTuber on here, and I'm not going to say who because um, if you if you know what I'm about to say, you know who I'm talking about. But um, she reported that, you know, she knows some stuff and she's going to let us know. And once she let us know, I'll let you guys know. But, um, um, you know, things and what they seen on one side of the party's story. So just 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 look out for that and I'll be continuing because y'all rooting is my girl. Uh Keisha is my girl. She if y'all was to ask if I had a crush on a celebrity, she'd be number one. She'd be number one. Keisha's my girl. We um share the same birthday month. Her birthday is in April, mine is in April. Um Keisha's a go getter. She is a go getter. And, um, you know, I hate that what she's dealing with and what she's going through, um, I hate, I hate all of it. I hate that she, she's dealing with all of it, you know, so, um, continue to keep her in the prayer. Like she said, it's not all about her, it's just this baby and everything else, so, continue to keep Keisha and, and you know, Ed and, and the baby girl in prayer because the baby girl really don't need to be doing this, I mean, get, going through this. And if, 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 if. The baby is is I, I've you know I really believe that he'll take care of it I really do, and um, you know because um, he take care of EJ which is the son he has with um, um, Lisa Wu uh, she's she was on the first and the second I think third but first and second season of the Real Housewives of Atlanta and now she's on Hollywood Divas with um, Paula J Parker. Um, um, Countess Vaughn, um, who else? Uh, that girl Malika, who I don't like. Um, and there's a few others, but she's on that show. But anyway, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's sad. It's very sad for, um, 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 for, um, uh, Ed and, and Keisha and, and what she's going through with that baby. But y'all, I kind of think Lisa has something to do with this allegedly, and this is all my opinion. You know, because and people keep saying that her and Keisha was best friends. They were not best friends. They knew each other, and they was you know hung around the same people, but they what they weren't best friends. They was cordial and cool, like Lisa said, but they were not friends or whatever. But you know, she was kind of cool about it. But I kind of think that you know, due to Lisa's upsetting of you know not um, knowing about it. I think that what made it want to get the divorce. But hey, we'll, we, of course, this is not over and done yet. So we'll hear about this a little later on. Um, what else do I have for you all? Um, uh, um, oh, oh, I have, I'm reading, I'm reading some notes here from, um, um, Love B. Scott. But it says, I'm trying to find a, um, a uh, hold on one second. Hello. Yes, I'm I'm doing a video real quick. Give me about five minutes. Uh huh. Bye bye. Um, um, yeah, I'm trying to find some information regarding Bow Wow and that mess that he's talking about. But it says Mary J. Blige's team has issued a statement addressing her divorce from husband Kendall Isaac. The statement reads, Ms. Blige is saddened to say that it is true that she has filed for divorce saying something don't work out and how we hoped that they would. But there is a divine plan and a reason for everything. Um, and Mary will continue to write and um, a new album is in the works. So shout out to Mary. Hillary Clinton makes uh, history. Uh, she accepted the nomination for the Democratic Party. And I will say this, that she's not the only woman that has ran for president. Um, I believe it was Shirley Chisholm, and I'm going to put her picture on the screen. But um, I believe that is her. But she, she, um, she, uh, um, she's not the only one. Another one, another information, y'all, Phaedra. She got somebody that's trying to take her out, but the dude went to the wrong law office to blow it up. But, you know, anyway, um, what else? But anyway, I can't find the news about Bow Wow, but Bow Wow is now saying that, that he's mixed and he don't know anything about this civil rights stuff and he don't have no opinion on it because he's mixed and 
um, his family, the mall side of the family is not all black. Bow Wow, please be quiet. Please be quiet. Y'all, this is your boy Red for uh, today's Inside Scoop of the Red. And it is where I give you my honest, my unscripted opinion on today's world and entertainment news. And if you're watching me from the Life As I Know It channel, go over to the RX3 show and subscribe. RX3 show people, go over to Life As I Know It and subscribe. Know that I love you for real. And I always remember to live every day, laugh every moment, and love beyond words. Follow me on my social media platforms. Uh, in, uh, um, on f Facebook, facebook.com forward slash the RH3 show, Twitter, the RH3 show, Instagram, the RH3 show. If you want to follow me on my personal accounts, um, Instagram is uh, inside Mr. RH3 as well as Twitter. All right, you guys, I'm out of here and check me out on my website, the RH3 show.com. I hope I can get my cousin to edit this video for me because I'm out of here. I needed to do this for YouTube. So I'm out of here. Talk to y'all. Peace. Because he said he's free. I said he paid free, be a cat.